we have finally made it to Tuesday, or as we like to call it around here, second Monday. Because what's the point in Tuesday, right? I added a little burning pumpkin to the graphic because I thought it was very appropriate for the first day of October. That temperatures are going to be so unbearably hot. In the meantime, Pure Taqueria is officially open on Veterans Parkway in North Columbus. Come indulge in a tortilla chip for National Tortilla Day. <laughs> you got a great assignment today, Lauren. I'm so jealous. <laughs> Enjoy. Here in Cuthbert, Georgia, one of the cities in our area that was the hardest hit when Michael came through still as a hurricane. Hurricane force wind gusts brought down the trees that you're seeing behind me here. Look at this inland push of water. What you're seeing right here, this is storm surge in action. It had a lot of lightning on it. It looks like it's beginning to lose that lightning as it moves northeast. And this allows us to look at how the winds are operating within the storm. You'll see this little area of rotation here where the red and green are right on top of each other. And unfortunately, I hate to say this, we are seeing a very clear debris signature just north and east of Thomaston. If anyone's watching who's maybe going to try to help people in Lee County, just wait because there is another dangerous tornado on the ground. People have been bringing hot food for lunch. That home behind me there was lifted off of its foundation and did a complete 180. Less than a week ago, this was someone's home. This is where people lived, where they went about their day to day lives. The devastation behind me is just something I've never laid eyes on before in my entire life. What we'd like to do is track this out, generally moving at about 50 miles per hour. And remember, even if you don't see a spin up tornado, these winds are packing a punch. Almost looks like someone just took a paintbrush and started painting the sky this morning. We got a lot of moisture in there. Anytime you see dew points in the 70s, you're going to be sweating. That dust is going to get lofted into the atmosphere. And when it does, it's going to make for some beautiful sunrises and sunsets for us. Just, Just like funny. my cat, I keep saying, <laughs> very similar to very, my cat. Very, very curious. So we spread a good education lesson, like what makes a good pet? Let's go to Storm Team 9 meteorologist Lauren Linehan. Hey, Cheryl, good morning. Yeah, not going to hurt to put on a light jacket, or this is kind of more so cardigan weather. I think that would make Taylor Swift happy. So this morning we've got temperatures in the 60s, which, yeah, it's a little warmer than it's been over the past few days, but still feels pretty good, but five to 10 degrees warmer than we were this time yesterday morning. Now this afternoon, we're also going to be a few degrees warmer with high temperatures getting into the mid upper 70s. There's just a 10% chance of a stray shower and that warmth that we're beginning to feel a little bit today is just going to keep on building over the next couple of days. That's kind of thanks to beta getting a little closer to us. The remnants of beta are going to up our humidity. I know I hate to say it, but it's the truth. So it's not going to feel quite as crisp as we go into tomorrow today, though, not too shabby, but those dew points on the rise when you see dew points getting into the 70s, even upper 60s, you're like, yeah, we're getting a little too high up on the muggy meter again. It won't feel totally summer like though, so we're good. Now this morning we've seen plenty of clouds. We've got that moisture in the upper levels that has been coming from beta, but it's not quite here at the surface yet. We're still feeling pretty dry, pretty fall like, but we are noticing a little bit of light rain that has been moving through southwest Georgia this morning. There's a little bit more moisture down there so they can support some showers, but really we've only seen a couple of showers across Bluffton in our area. It looks like they're staying south of Cuthbert. As far as beta though, the remnants of it are stretching some tropical moisture all the way from Houston up towards the mid south. What's going to happen is that area of low pressure, the remnants of beta are going to move to the northeast. And so by tomorrow, we're going to see a better chance of some scattered showers and storms. There also is a low end threat for some severe storms across central Alabama. It's a very low end risk. We're talking just a level one out of five risk, and that hasn't been extended into West Georgia. The idea is kind of like you see with tropical systems, not out of the question to see some gusty winds or a brief spin up tornado. I really will have to kind of look at this and see how our risk is going to look for tomorrow. But for now, just know there is that low end risk. We'll keep you posted. In the meantime, today staying dry as we get into the afternoon. Still, we're talking just a stray shower going into the overnight hours. Still a low end rain chance. But notice how that rain coverage begins to expand from the west tomorrow. And there is that chance for a few strong thunderstorms. So the rain coverage looks pretty decent on Thursday and Friday. By Friday, yeah, we'll be back in the 80s, but hey, mid to upper 80s, still not too bad for us here in the Deep South.